Hello, my name is Troy Barron from Channel Vision Technology, and today we're going to learn uh, some networking basics and how we can set our DVR up in just about 15 minutes uh, and do it fairly quickly. Now, before we get started, you are going to need a handful of things so that we can uh, execute the DVR setup. First thing you're going to have to do is make note of the brand and model number of your specific router within the network. You also need the administrator password and be able to log into this specific router for a later um, portion of the setup. Also, do make note of your brand, of your model, and of the, your modem that you're using specifically, as well as do note if you're using a dynamic or a static IP address. A dynamic IP address is always changing. And if you have a st static IP address, it is a fixed number that you always have. If you're unsure of which, uh, which type of IP address you have, you can contact your local ISP provider. First, we'll also need to note our external IP address. And you can do that by logging into ipchicken.com to find your external IP address. Once you have this, set, uh, this list of items, we'll be able to move on to the next procedure. Now, before we get into that, we do want to make note of a handful of uh, terminology that we're going to encounter. LAN versus WAN, local area network versus wide area network. Your local area network is going to be something like 192.168, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and this is going to be the inside or internal IP address that's going to be assigned to your specific device on the network. And this is going to be used in the DVR or IP camera settings during setup. Uh, also, you have a wide area network IP address. This is the IP address that we'll um, encounter when you do your IP check-in through the browser and will generate your external IP address. And this is used from outside the network for viewing your DVR remotely or logging in via your smartphone. And this will be used in the hosting settings of our DVR service. first thing we're going to have to do is uh, assign an IP address to the DVR. But before we do that, we'll have to go through a handful of steps on uh, acquiring that information from your computer. Click on your start menu, go to run, and type in CMD on your keyboard. This will take you to a DOS prompt where you'll type in ipconfig forward slash all. Once you hit enter, it'll take you to a screen that looks like this. Here you're going to write down the internal IP address of your computer and from this same DOS prompt you are also going to jot down your subnet mask, your default gateway, and your DNS server. Make note of all of these numbers on a separate piece of paper because we're going to have to use them in a moment. Once you have acquired all of this information we're going to log into our DVR. And to log into your DVR, you will log into uh, as an administrator. And once you get into your DVR settings, it will look something like this. First thing you're going to want to do is take that information and go to the little globe with the DVR on it. This is your network setup. In this portion here, you're going to copy down the information that we just made a note from. Ensure our LAN box is checked, plug in the IP address from your computer that we just wrote down, except for the last three digits. We're going to change this from what you wrote down from your computer to a number um, that we're going to define, defining the last three digits. So in our example here, I've defined the last three digits to be 209 as the specific IP address of my DVR. Also jot down the subnet mask from your uh, that we were looking at earlier from our DOS prompt, as well as plug in the information for your default gateway and your DNS service. Once you've completed this step, we're going to have to forward a port on our router. So since we're already in our settings, we'll define the prompt or the router port that we're going to forward by selecting HTTP setup. Here, we'll have to check the box to enable the HTTP server and plug in the specific port on the router we wish to forward. Uh, in our example here, we're looking at port 8004. 
regarding uh, IP addresses for security. Typically, unused ports are typically used between ports 5,000 and ports 8,000 are typically de uh, designated for CCTV applications. Once you've defined your port in here, we'll have to actually go into our DDNS, uh, or we'll have to forward the port on our router. To do that, we will have to go back to our login for our router. Now, during this step, um, it's a little more difficult for us to walk you through because of the different variations of routers out there. However, there's a very uh, resourceful website not affiliated with Channel Vision called portforward.com. In this website, it does make note of many different router model numbers and uh, provides the steps for forwarding a port on a router. This is an example using the Channel Vision router C0514 interface during the advanced setup portion um, of the router. So we've logged into our router as an administrator, and now we have to plug in a little bit of information. Here, we're going to plug in the IP address that we assigned to the DVR. So these are the last three digits that we changed on our local area network when we were assigning a device number to our specific DVR. Here, we'll also have to add in the port that we selected to forward back in our DVR settings. And then do enable the TCP from the drop-down box, and make sure your checkbox is good to go if you're using the specific channel vision router. And once you've done that, you're almost done. Next step we're going to have to do is go into our DDNS hosting service and assign a specific port, um, I'm sorry, our DDNS hosting service where we're going to define our host. Now you're going to select on the DDNS setup option and it will take you to a screen that looks something like this. Um, here in the DDNS server we're going to have our ddns.org, which is the service that we're utilizing. Um, plug in our host name, username, and password of our specific routing service. Now, at this portion, you'll want to give us a call because you can call Channel Vision at the at the 800 number 800-840-0288 and uh, speak with somebody in technical support. And at this point, we'll be able to plug in um, the information necessary for your DDNS hosting. Now, why do I need DDNS hosting? <clears throat> well, earlier we talked about dynamic versus static IP addresses. In the event you have a dynamic IP address, which means it's your IP address is continuously changing in the background, um, a DDNS hosting service will track that IP address as it changes so that you don't have to remember the different number or log into a different one at every time. By plugging that information to the channel vision security portion of your DVR um, and calling us directly to set up your DDNS account, you will be able to log into your DVR directly by going to http colon forward slash and then your DVR's name dot channelvisionsecurity.com and then the port number that you forwarded. Once you've completed this step, you will be able to log into your DVR as if you were looking at it remotely and you would be able to see all of the cameras. In a nutshell, that's a quick setup for setting up your DVR G series on your network so that it can be reviewed from outside of your network. Uh, do feel free to contact us if you have any additional questions.